Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so proud today. Ladies and gentlemen, graduating students, special guests. It's a beautiful day here in Mar Vista, Venice, West Los Angeles. French scientist Louis Pasteur once wrote, when I approach a child, he inspires me in two sentiments, tenderness for what he is and respect for what he might become in life. What your child may become has been partly our responsibility over the last three years here at Mark Twain Middle School. We believe that through education, we can show each child his or her own worth and his or her own place in society, which they, through their efforts, can shape and improve upon. Because if everyone believed what he or she did could make a difference in the world and strive to produce the best of what he or she was capable of, what a world we would have. Damas y caballeros, niños y niñas, el científico francés Louis Pasteur una vez escribió, Cuando me acerco a un niño, él me inspira, inspira dos sentimientos, ternura por lo que es y respeto a lo que podría llegar a ser en la vida. Lo que su hijo puede llegar a ser en parte ha sido nuestra responsabilidad en los últimos tres años aquí en Mark Twain. Creemos que a través de la educación podemos mostrar a cada niño su propio valor y su lugar propio en la sociedad a la que, a través de sus esfuerzos, pueden dar forma y mejorar. Porque, porque si todo el mundo creyera que lo que hacía podría significar una diferencia en el mundo y se esforzara para producir lo mejor de lo que es capaz de hacer, ¿qué mundo tendríamos? Boys and girls, throughout your three years here at Mark Twain, you have worked and studied hard. You have practiced, played, and you have grown so much, mentally, emotionally, physically. You have imagined this day, the day when you have completed your middle school studies and would receive a certificate which attested to that fact. Now that day has come, and the conclusion of your middle schooling is your new reality. Remember new ninth graders, new high school students, that culmination far from being an end, is ju really just the beginning of all of your tomorrows. And now, here you are, ready to begin your lives anew in high school and then college. At this culmination speech every June, I ask my students reflective questions, because I hope you have developed a deeper and broader understanding of who you are and what success is beginning with evidence of your intellectual growth. Questions like, what do you think now versus what you thought when you arrived here three years ago? What matters to you? What is important to you? What are you listening to on your iPods? What books are on your iPads? What about the issues of the day that catch your attention? What issues will make you take a stand and not be a bystander in life? <coughs> How do you treat others? What standards do you embrace? How will you contribute to the world around you? <coughs> Whatever course your future takes, it is my sincere hope that you look back on your years at Mark Twain as proud alumni having prepared you to meet and deal with the challenges that life will present to you. But before you go, before you leave Mark Twain for the last time, I want to tell all of our graduating eighth graders here today to never, ever, ever be content with someone else's definition of you. Instead, you define yourselves by your own dreams, your own goals, and your own hard work to become the person that you want to become in life. Grab hold of that tomorrow and create your own destiny, your own reality, and become someone special. The special someone that in major part is who you already are today. Boys and girls, dream lofty dreams. And as you dream, so shall you become. <coughs> 
cualquiera sea el curso que el futuro tome, y es mi sincera esperanza que ustedes miren atrás, así a sus años en Mark Twain, como ex alumnos orgullosos que han sido preparados para afrontar y tratar los desafíos que la vida les presentará. Pero antes de que se vayan, antes de que salgan a Mark Twain por la última vez, quiero decirles hoy a todos nuestros graduados del octavo grado que nunca, nunca, nunca se conformen con la definición que otra persona haga de ustedes. En lugar de eso, definanse ustedes por sus propios sueños, sus propias metas y su trabajo duro, duro para convertirse en la persona que quieren ser en la vida. Agarren esa mañana y creen su propio destino, su propia realidad y conviértanse en alguien especial, esa persona especial que en su mayor parte son ustedes ya hoy. Niños y niñas sueñan sueños nobles y así se convertirán en lo que sueñan. And so, on behalf of all of the eighth grade teachers and the faculty and staff of Mark Twain, <coughs> I wish to each and every one of you the happiness of a productive life, the respect of your fellow human beings, and the love of your families. The best of luck and congratulations to the class of 2014, and may the future be yours. Y así en nombre de todos los maestros del grado 8 y la facultad y el personal de Mark Twain, les deseo a todos y cada uno de ustedes la felicidad de una vida productiva, el respeto por sus semejantes y el amor de sus familias. La mejor de las suertes y felicidades a la clase de 2014 y ojalá que el futuro sea suyo. Muchas gracias, muy amable.